What is up everyone? So today I'm going to be reviewing Scramba's front end developer career path course. So this is fairly new on their platform and they actually changed their entire business model since I made my previous videos about them. And also my thoughts about the platform have changed since then as well due to some things that I ran into, which I'll discuss later in the video. But pretty much if you are new to the channel, I'm basically documenting myself learning how to code and just sharing you with you what I'm building and also courses that I am taking. So this is one that I decided to talk about on the channel and pretty much you can see the, the pitch right here, the marketing thing stating that it's supposedly going to turn you into a hireable front end developer. Now, depending on you or not, that's, I guess that just depends on your skill set. But either way, this course is 70 hours plus long of uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React content. And I'm gonna talk more about the pros and then I'm gonna tell more about the cons after. So if you wanna hear some of the issues I had with Scrimba that I didn't experience until I took this specific course here, then definitely watch this video all the way to the end. But um, ideally, if you're watching this for the very first time, deciding to get into code, then I feel like this could be a good starting point. But there's also a ton of things you have to consider, especially if you haven't coded that much that you might want to start practicing prior to um, even considering learning on Scrimmage platform. So ideally, you can show you here, I'll show you really quick too. This was the main course I wanted to get into was this Netflix clone, which was made with uh, React. So you can see I actually watched this just so you know, like I actually watched majority of the advanced concepts. But if I scroll up, majority of this starts off with HTML, CSS, and then you know JavaScript, and then eventually React. Now they had this course on Git and I was not a fan of this specific course right here. Cause I learned Git from a friend and also um, YouTube content. And uh, I think the reason why I was just not a fan of it is just the way the teacher taught. Cause Scrimba's platforms, so let me just show you really quick in case you have no idea what Scrimba does or like, is it just another website? But basically what Scrimba does, it allows you to code. Like, let's say like the teacher right here is actually teaching right now and it allows you to type like, hey, or let me say like, um, I don't know, just say console.log, hit that like button. So it allows you to edit the code as if it's like a built-in code editor while you're watching the lecture and then it'll update. So originally when I did this, learning just simple syntax, like actual what definitions are and seeing code, it was pretty cool. But then I didn't realize how many issues I'd run into until I had to build a big project, which was that Netflix clone that I showed you earlier. The um, the thing is, this is cool. If you're learning like basic HTML and CSS and you're just trying to see the code and what to type and just like typing along, I think that's cool if you're getting started. So in case you are brand new, that's definitely um, a plus. But once you get into JavaScript or even React and you have to utilize the console a lot, and you have to see errors like in the console and debug and all that stuff. Scrimba definitely starts to go downhill from there. And um, like right now, you don't, you, if you don't know React, you might not know like dependencies, but like you have to install these on your terminal, not on a, um, like a browser. So they have all this stuff like pre-installed for you. And also all the files are already like here. So if you were to like fork this or download these files, there's little, there's little things that you wouldn't know how to do that you have to go watch a tutorial on YouTube because um, everything's like focused on the browser, trying to make it easy for you. But I feel like in terms of practice, that's like not the best practice for learning because there's one simple little thing that took me like four hours to figure out because I didn't realize it was part of Scrimbo's files. But anyway, that's just, that's another topic, but basically, in case you don't know, Scrimble lets you code, um, edit on the code, and then you can see like on the browser. This is like um, supposed to replicate like a your own browser, but this is inside of Scrimba. So like, like right now, it's not letting me right click it, and uh, all the errors like show up here, and they have like everything updated in terms of the errors. So, like you wouldn't see the same thing in the console of like your own. Like if I were to right click this, I think I gotta go up here. Like I go here, like your entire console on like a real, like if you're coding this from scratch on your own code editor, looks like this. And it has completely different error messages, but in terms of Scrimba, it's, um, these are like custom. It's like, like it's trying to help you, give you a better like wording of the error, but um, either way, it's, it's just not, it's not natural in terms of 
like if you're actually building something from yourself but let me go back more towards the actual content and i'll tell you more about the actual platform overall but um pretty much if you're learning basic html css i mean you can learn that anywhere it's pretty straightforward for me at least so i i went through the challenge course right here just because uh i didn't want to spend my time like watching a course that i already know most of it so i went through here and i went through it completely didn't miss a single thing it was, it was almost like too easy for me so if you're just starting out day one to code or like your first week or two this might be a little difficult for you but uh if you've done simple flexbox grid or whatever i feel like you could do this with the breeze and then the rest of it's more towards like um responsive design javascript api stuff i mean you do apis with uh react so i didn't spend too much time with this there's a ui design course here that I, I don't know if this is the free one that they included i know he does have a boot camp i believe with the ui that's again you can watch that since they do have the new model with the subscription but anyways like i've watched a bunch of courses on design prior so i didn't really spend too much time here the get one this definitely could be improved because scrimpa's let me just click and show you like if someone has a macbook and they try to follow this course they would get lost that's just my opinion because there's just so much there's so much easier ways to do it because it's like a screenshot see so like scrimba's platform is a browser so if you were to show like actual off browser things you you can't show it like it'd be so much better if he just had him like log in a github you know create a repository push something to it and then that's it like physically doing it but instead since he's using scrimba i don't know their like way they do things it looks like they have some sort of like background powerpoint style and then you just like upload images and you can see it's like you upload images and then you have like little highlights so it's almost like you're watching a blog post live which i feel like for at least github that stuff's not the easiest thing to understand so having someone do this like step by step from github.com would be much better i'm pretty sure most people if they have a mac they might have to go to um like a youtube tutorial because i don't think this course was the best in terms of that i don't know q a yeah no one's commenting on that yet so definitely they can improve that that specific section and then here's react stuff that i already went through that uh but in terms of netflix clone so in case you are more advanced and you this is like you're interested in this particular product like i legitimately subscribe just to see this one thing i didn't care about any of the um other content again it is supplementary some of the stuff's pretty cool but uh i just want to see this um netflix clone which i have up here that's pretty much it i ended up calling the data a couple times on accident so it it shows it like copies of it but um pretty much you know you have the typical thing you click the play the video's not showing right now because it's the way again that's the thing because the way um scrimba's like files were set up like when i downloaded the, the video was like in a completely different form so that's the annoying part about using scrimba's like built-in stuff already and then um i could log out here and like sign out you can see sign in sign up page here and then like um here and the thing is too the scrimba screen was like smaller than like a typical computer so like carl he has he has amazing content he's a super awesome teacher and he has like a youtube channel with awesome free content too but in terms of scrimba i felt like he was limited because like he had to build according to the screen on scrimba so like here the simple css thing was all messed up because of that i haven't fixed it yet but um that was one thing I noticed here, but most of the stuff works pretty well, like drop downs and whatnot. But in terms of this, I think um, learning React in terms of like organizing code was pretty cool to see here and you know, like seeing the updated stuff. So that's pretty awesome in terms of um, React. But like in this term of this course itself, like there's so many issues I ran into just because of the way Scream was designed that I would never have ran into if they would have just taught it like on a typical code editor. So in terms of like, we had to use Firebase, so the best for the back end. And there's just the littlest thing I had an issue with that could have easily been solved if I just, if he was just building this typically on a, on a typical code editor like VS Code and using Terminal. But since he had to use Scrimba, he couldn't, like some of the stuff was already pre-installed on the browser that you would not have known. And like, if you're brand new, you would not have, you have never would know like what to even do to start this. Cause like, um, let me just go back. Let me see. I'm just clicking on any lecture. And again, if you're just starting out coding, you don't care about like React yet. You're like HTML, CSS. I'll leave like more of like the pointers at the end, just so you kind of get it. But like, let me see if I skip. Like down here, these dependencies. Like, 
if you've never used a terminal before, you would not know you have to install, you know, Fuse or Normalize or React DOM. Well, not React DOM, React Router, Stock Component. Like, you would never know do know to do that, and you would never know how to do that unless you've seen, like, a YouTube tutorial or another course doing it from the terminal. So, I guess that's, like, the con of using the platform and also, like, the screen. Some of the stuff... Um, like I can't, I can't just inspect this and see like what is this. So that's like an annoying part about the browser thing that I didn't realize was a big deal until like you try to make something. If you try to follow along on your own code editor, you'll realize it's really annoying to do. It does definitely make you learn it better, I guess. But it's just like little things could easily be avoided. But overall, I think the content's pretty cool. And since this is fairly new the instructors are quite responsive so i did ask carl a couple of questions on discord that he was like pretty quick you know like when i wake up i got a response so i guess that is a bonus in case you do want to um get like instructor responses at least from carl i don't know the other instructors how responsive they are there's are there are people that actually helped this one person helped me in the chat that's not he's just a random person that had no um teaching or anything he's just a person inside the co uh, discord chat that i thought that was pretty cool to see so in terms of the community, they definitely are building a bunch of stuff up. But in case you're just brand new coding, I want to hear my like overall summary of the path in general and then Scrimble overall is that definitely start off coding normally on a, your own code editor and understanding how to do everything first. Because if you just rely on Scrimble's browser and then you don't understand that, hey, I have to install this on a terminal or I have to, hey, I have to create this file here or do this here, then it's gonna be really annoying in the future. So I'd say it's better to know that prior, like the basic fundamentals. And then when you go to Scrimble, you can see like the difference. Cause if you don't know the difference, you don't know what you don't know. And I didn't know that um, this little thing on like Firebase I had to do because I never used it before. So we're using Scrimble, but first seeing it, it just spent, I wasted like an entire day basically trying to solve that. But overall, I think the course does have some good information. I'm not too sure about the intro stuff because like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, there's like infinite resources. In terms of React, I think the Netflix clone was a cool setup to see how to like structure code in a bigger project. So that was pretty cool. But overall, I mean, they did update their business model too. So I hopped over to a different browser, so I'm not logged in. So it's a subscription model right now. And um, I don't know how much it's gonna, I'm sure this might be cost, uh, it might cost more when you're watching this in the future. But uh, this new model, this was before, like two weeks before they had this, I paid like full price for their bootcamp stuff. But here, this apparently gets you access to all the courses. So that's much better and cheaper alternative for people out there if they wanna just brush through and like go through as many courses as they can. But that's just, that's if you're interested in using Scribble as a resource. But overall, on this specific platform, I think the biggest uh, benefits of this uh, path are like the advanced stuff, like the React projects. In terms of JavaScript, I mean, there's like a billion <laughs> projects on YouTube or other courses. So again, it's like just a typical like uh, JavaScript course and whatnot. UI, I feel like UI is something that uh, people either have it or they don't. You can learn some concepts, but there's some people that are naturally more artistic than others in terms of creativity. And there's a bunch of courses that I've seen too. But again, this is just, good, I guess, a benefit in case you've never seen that. Git could be improved. I feel like that would be, if I didn't know Git prior, that would this course probably wouldn't have been able to help me do what I wanted to do. This stuff was free prior too, so that's just extra. They just, they put a bunch of like other courses into here and then like combine them together. Some stuff I already bought too. But overall, this is just my thoughts on the uh, new path. And then also the getting hard part, I only watched like two videos, but um, the React stuff was more like definitions. They weren't really like coding challenge stuff. And I didn't really watch the JavaScript stuff because I wasn't focusing on that right there. But um, I don't know, in terms of React um, coding interviews, if there's more, if there's, if she had more, like Cassidy had more challenge stuff, that'd be cool. But these were just, it's almost like you're hearing like definition stuff. It's still valuable to hear like, um, different ways to see it, but that wasn't like what I was expecting. And then these are typical projects. So again, these, like you can find some typical JavaScript HTML projects on YouTube or anywhere else. So not that's not too crazy, but this Netflix clone I think was the, one of the most valuable parts of this because this course was like seven hours long just building a project. So I know how long it takes to make content. 
So to make this course, I think Carl said it took him two months. So I think this was probably worth the course. Like he could have sold this video course right here, like as his own course. <laughs> but it's part of this, so I think that's probably the most valuable part. But aside from that, aside from the issues I had with the browser, like coding off of it, that was one of the major things to consider. But either way, again, this is just another resource out there to learn code. Again, there's a million other resources to consider. And again, just find one that you enjoy and whatnot. But definitely let me know what you think about their platform in the comments below. And then also any other coding resources that you know that I haven't seen, definitely comment that out so I can see them and check them out and then maybe make a video on it. But aside from that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.